McDonald's? Uh, yes, ma'am. I need to speak to somebody in charge. What can I do for you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Here's the thing. I just left y'all's location about 20 minutes ago, and I got on the road, and I realized I left my bag in the dining room. Would you mind looking around and seeing if it's there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Wait it's got my chihuahua dog in it. Okay, where were you sitting at? I was over there by the bathroom. It's a blue duffel bag, and it's got my dog, Penny, Chihuahua, in it. If you just holler Penny out loud, I, hell, you find him instantly. You go to barking and yipping. Hung up on me. Uh, yes, ma'am. I was just talking to the manager there, and I think we got disconnected. I was going through some turbulence. I told you we was going to get disconnected. I'm up here near Brushy Pond, and I'm going in and out. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Are you calling the right McDonald's, son? I believe so. It's one up there on Col in Coleman. Okay, I don't see anything out here in the lobby. You don't see a bag? No, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm frantic right now. I can't turn this damn truck around fast enough to get there. My chihuahua dog is in that bag. Yes, ma'am. I understand, but we don't have, uh, there's no bags out here. You, ma'am, please, just, can you just call for Penny? Just say, Penny, please, ma'am, I can't, please, ma'am, I don't want to lose my dog. Please just say, Penny, please yell for her. Terrence, turn the truck around, they can't find Penny. Terrence, go faster, Terrence. Why won't you yell for her? Hello? Penny! 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 Come here, Penny! Oh, my God. Do you see her? Is she coming? No, ma'am. She's not here. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna go be there in 10 minutes. Baby, bye. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. I called a couple of taxidermists in the Birmingham area and they all sent me your direction. I was wondering, do y'all, I don't know how you say it, but do y'all stuff dogs? Pets, yes, ma'am. Wow, I'll be damned. Y'all, y'all ever done uh, a Rottweiler before? Or is that too big? Uh, no, ma'am, that's not too big. Um, I have not done a Rottweiler. Uh, I would say the closest to size-wise that I've done was a blonde lab. What kind of pose could you put them in? Cause my, this is for my grandma. She brought this Rottweiler about 12 years ago. His name is Pony, and Pony he finally kicked the bucket, and but Pony loved. Getting up there in the recliner. Yes, ma'am. He like just kind of like you know just putting his paws up there on the side of the recliner. So I was hoping maybe we could put him in a position where both paws might have been up. Right. Uh, so you're talking about a position where he is maybe sitting on his rear end, rear end with both paws up. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like almost like he's sitting on his hind legs. Cause we used to look at him and we'd have to say, "Pony." Pony, get down, because both of his paws would be up. So I think that would probably be the best position. Kind of almost like he's pouncing a little bit. I think that'd make him look more alive, too. Um, yeah, that ain't, that's not no problem. I can uh, I can most definitely uh, accommodate that pose. I, to be honest with you, I didn't even know if y'all could do this, so I didn't know what the hell to do with Pony. So we stuck him in the deep freeze where we put the... Uh, deer for deer season and he's been down there for about two weeks. He's froze solid like a damn brick Yes, ma'am. I mean that that says you did exactly what you're supposed to do. That's that's what you should have done with Pony Okay All right. Well, I reckon I'll just load Pony up there in the back of the truck We got a little crew cab So I was just gonna put him in the back of the truck and load him down there unless y'all like to come get him um, I'm, I'm very flexible where where exactly are you located? We're down there uh, in Mount Olive. That sounds so familiar. Hold on a second, Mount Olive. It's Is that down. Olive? It's about two eighty. No, it's about ten miles north of Birmingham. I just I don't want my kid to see him, so I'd probably bring him while 
I'd probably bring him while she was at school. She'd been wondering where old Pooney went, and I told him he wandered off. Yes, yes, ma'am, I understand. I, I don't know if I want to stick Pooney in the car. Is it? Would it be bad if I put him in the bed of the truck? But I know he's going to thaw out if I do that. Would that be bad? He's not going. If you if you if you come straight from your house to mine, he and he's frozen solid. He ain't gonna thaw out by the time you get to my house. Okay, 